When Sean William Scott hosted SNL in 2001, there was a sketch where Will Ferrell walked in wearing a red, white, and blue thong. In the dress rehearsal, Ferrell wore short shorts, so the other actors actually were shocked to see him wearing the thong, and they were visibly struggling to not break character. In The Haunting of Hill House, when Theo and Shirley are startled by Nell's ghost in the car, the scene consists of Kate Siegel and Elizabeth Reeser's genuine reactions as Victoria Pedretti made her entrance sooner than they thought. Excuses I'm not making your excuses. Bullshit. I saw my <laughs> One of the most devastating moments for Walt in Breaking Bad was when he kidnapped Holly and she called out for her mom. No, mama. No, mama. This happened organically on set. The child actor was calling out for her real mother, and Brian Cranston just went with it. Wanda Wayne! Holy crap! In Living Color, the very first ugly Wanda skit was a dating game parody, but the other actors hadn't seen Jamie Foxx in drag until filming, so their reactions to seeing Wanda for the first time were real, from Jim Carrey's holy crap to David Allen Greer bursting out laughing. This also led to a hilarious ad-lib from Carrie, who was playing the host. If I had a tattoo of the United States all over my body, which area of the country would you go visit? I'm going to Europe. <laughs> over the years, Leroy Gibbs's slaps, usually against Tony Dinozo, have become a running gag in NCIS. However, the first ever slap wasn't scripted at all. Actor Mark Harmon has said that he was getting so irritated at co-star Michael Weatherly that he just broke off in the middle of the scene and whacked him on the back of the head. Maybe being a cop isn't for me. <laughs> Did you just physically assault me? I don't have a lot of rules. In the episode Traveling Salesman, Jim abruptly slaps Dwight as they are walking into an office building. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it with Rain Wilson looks genuinely stunned, and there's a reason why. While the slap was scripted to intentionally interrupt Dwight mid-rant, Rain Wilson was surprised at the timing of the hit. Wilson had also asked John Krasinski to slap harder throughout takes. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it with it. In an episode of Parks and Recreation, Andy Dwyer shows up at Leslie's house naked due to a miscommunication. Apparently in the first few takes, Amy Poehler's reaction to opening the door wasn't convincing enough, so Chris Pratt took off the skin-colored briefs without telling her. Why are you naked? Oh! Well, because of what you said, we're getting back together. No, we're not! Yes, we are! Pratt revealed on The Graham Norton Show a few years later that this landed him in hot water with NBC, who had the HR department send him a very stern letter warning him to never do something like this again. You're being reprimanded. This is, this is the last warning. And also, we don't want you going around and talking about this letter like it was something, some kind of joke. <laughs> <laughs> In Riverdale, where Archie tried to save Cheryl from drowning in Sweetwater River, Kennedy James actually broke his hand while pretending to punch through the ice. However, he couldn't feel his hand due to the extreme cold, so he only realized it was broken after they finished filming the scene. One episode of Friends has Ross's son, Ben, play a prank on him. Ross chases him up the stairs stating how much trouble he's in while Rachel tries to defuse the situation and freaks out when she sees Ross fall down the stairs. The segment was directed by David Schwimmer, and he did not tell Jennifer Aniston about the prank, which made her freak out and her anger appear more genuine. Steve Carell could make any moment funny. One of the most memorable moments from The Office was his character Michael kissing Oscar. Oh. Oh. The moment was totally oh. unscripted, and it's gone down as one of the funniest improvised bits in all of television. Oh, come on, Dwight! Come on, man! You're needed on the bridge, sir. On my way. In the episode Waking Moments from Star Trek Voyager, Tuvok dreams that he reports to the bridge naked. The people who are already there burst out laughing when they see him, and it's not acting. <laughs> Apparently, Tim Russ attached really big fake genitals over his own just to get the right reaction. 
The laughter and reactions on the crew's face were genuine as a result. That in my haste to report to the bridge, I neglected to put on my uniform. <laughs> Did you know in season two, episode two of Breaking Bad, when Tuco holds Jesse and Walter prisoner at a dessert hideout, there is a scene where Tuco throws Jesse through a screen door, which actually ends up giving a concussion to Paul Aaron? This shocking fact came into relevance when Paul Aaron replied in a Reddit AMA. Raymond just thought he was acting, so he continued and kicked him in the side and threw him against the house. But in reality, he was pretty much unconscious the whole time. In Little House on the Prairie, after Nellie falls off Laura's horse, she fakes paralysis. To prove she's faking, Laura sends her rolling down a steep hill in her wheelchair. Because they needed close-up reactions, directors couldn't use a stunt double, and Alison Arngrim filmed the scene herself. A safety rope was put in place to control the movement. However, just as the cameras began rolling, a crew member yelled, Oh no, the rope broke! Arngrim's screams and look of absolute terror were genuine. It's a miracle! In the one with Phoebe's uterus from Friends, Matthew Perry delivers a line that not only made us laugh, but also turned into an unexpected blooper that had the entire cast cracking up. Donald Trump wants his blue blazer black. <laughs> what? According to the script, he was meant to say back instead of black. While the scene itself is hilarious, the fact that Matthew Perry's slip-up was unscripted and the cast went along with the mistake explains why the show was such a phenomenal success. Why would he want his blue blazer black? <laughs> you messed it up. You're stupid. In How I Met Your Mother, Jason Siegel didn't know Marshall's dad was going to die until they shot the episode, so the final cut consists of his genuine reaction. My dad said, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Most fans can recite Dwayne's famous phrase, please baby please, as he was being dragged out of Whitley's wedding ceremony, but that line was never written into the script. Will you have me, Dwayne, as your lawfully wedded husband from this day forth to having a hoe and richer for poorer, baby please, please! For Kadeem Hardison, those words were a genuine plea for Jasmine to help him out after he'd forgotten his lines. Baby please, please! In Stranger Things, the moment when Eleven collapsed into Mike's arms after battling Billy in the sauna was unscripted, Millie Bobby Brown was physically exhausted from filming the scene. And if you look at Finn's face, you can see that he's confused and didn't know that Millie would break down. On Grey's Anatomy, Joe kissing Arizona wasn't scripted, and it was something Camilla Luddington came up with on the spot. Got into it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> 